on the phone. There's the gun. Uh, really good stuff. Um, I remember at prime time at that time, we couldn't point the gun directly at Kelly. So I had to hold it straight up. So I remember having to figure out, like, how what am I going to do with this gun? Because I can't point it at anybody. Those were the rules. I just Apparently, really you can't point a gun at anyone or look at anyone in the eye. So. Right. <laughs> Those are the two. <laughs> yeah. In five, four, three, two. Hey Beverly Hills 90210 fans, stop what you're doing right now because it's time to dive deep into 90 News. All the latest news and rumors coming out of your favorite zip code with your hosts Pete Ferrero and Melanie Rose. Oh my god, I can't believe what I just heard. Hey Melanie Rose, what is going on? Hey. We are on uh, 90 News, I'm so happy to be back doing this program with you. Uh, we took last week off with the election and all that. I just thought it was too much going on uh, too quickly. Um, but how's everything yeah. on your end? Great. It's Friday. i um, getting very excited. We have something fun coming up today. Uh, we're doing the Pluto tweet along starting at four o'clock Pacific. So uh, it's a big 90210 day today. Um, and I see you added the ticker at the bottom there. Yes, so course. for everybody tuning in, uh, a tweet along is uh, when you watch a television show on TV and then you simultaneously are tweeting along with it on Twitter using the hashtag uh, that we're showing here, hashtag Pluto TV 90210. Um, and to participate, you need to download the Pluto app. It's free. Um, and we got to choose eight episodes of 90210 starting today, uh, channel 138 on Pluto, 4 p.m., uh, eight hours. So eight hours of 90210 bliss from four uh, until midnight. So we hope you'll join us. It was fun to pick out some of the episodes that we're going to be covering. And Pluto was kind enough to allow us to. So uh, yes. one of the orchestrators of helping us pick out these episodes oh. is this guy. What? <laughs> My hat. <laughs> hey, Greg, and I, you know, I have another hat. Uh -huh. Ooh, <laughs> nice. Yeah. You know, um, I just want to say uh, we have a lot of swag bags to give away too. Sometime. Oh, look at this! Look at all this great Pluto TV merch that. Uh, Fantastic! <laughs> I have my Pluto mask, but I'm not wearing it right now. <laughs> I have my Pluto swag bag. So we have a lot of gifts to give away. Uh, you have to figure out what kind of contest you want to do. But this yeah. tweet along, I just want to say. Pluto TV has 30 million subscribers. Wow. Just remember that. Uh, of course, they only have 40,000 on their tweet site. <laughs> right. 40,000 people is good. You know, hopefully we'll uh, get these people to watch our show tonight. And we'll, you know, we're going to kind of be watching with them and uh, enjoying what they say and commenting with them interactively with the way we can't really in the regular show because we're doing the show. Right. So this way, we'll actually be able to answer as we go. I know some of the stuff is going late. Um, yes. Mm -hmm. And so that will be a little bit of a challenge for me because those are my Same. episodes coming up. Yeah. So it's okay, uh, guys. You know, I got you covered. I'll be no, there. I got you covered. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to certainly open it up at four. I'll be there for four to talk uh, with folks, as you will. And then I'll co probably come back again for the eight o'clock hour for the uh, season four stuff and, uh, and, you know, kind of monitor what's going on. Listen, I mean, we're, we got some good episodes. Melanie, do you have the list of episodes that we're covering? Do you have that in front of you? Ooh, uh, you know I, I think I know. I think I know it. I'm going to tell okay. you right now. Great. We start off with, well. I think it's The Gentle Art of the Listening. The Gentle Art of Listening. Isn't it romantic? Isn't it romantic? Mm -hmm. romantic right. A Night to Remember. Which yep. is one of oh, my no, favorites. Euphoria. Yeah. A Night to Remember. Uh, my my Desperate Valentine's. Valentine's in the mix. Yeah. We just can't get enough Emily Valentine here. And then there's, um, I know, Divas, of course, which we all love. Divas, and, uh, stormy, stormy Weather. weather. And then yep. one other one. Things uh, That Go Bang in the Night. Things yes. That Go Bang in the Night. Yes. And by the way, that will be in the actual order that they aired on TV, not the order we just put together, because I think we were all over the place. Okay, so listen, before you leave, Larry, we had such a great week uh, with Kathleen Robertson. That was so awesome. Uh, Todd H., our editor here at the show, put together the five things we learned from uh, the Kathleen Robertson interview. So here is that clip. Here are the top five things we've learned from Kathleen Robertson's appearance on the Beverly Hills 90210 show. Number five. I decided that I that I wanted to, to leave. It wasn't 
at all because of anything negative. It wasn't because I didn't enjoy the experience. It wasn't because I didn't like doing it. I just genuinely just kind of like, okay, I've done this. I'm young. I want to do something else. Number four. I remember the day of my audition. It was um, so the huge earthquake that happened, the Northridge earthquake. Number three. Molly and I were buds. She trusted me and she knew how into fashion I was. But sometimes I would go shopping for Claire and I would buy stuff and then I would bring it in and be like, what do you think? And then we would go through it and she would be like, this is probably too much or this is cool or whatever. And a lot of stuff that I look at, I'm like, oh my God, I remember buying that on Melrose. Number two. I love Tori. She's like, whenever people ask me like, what's your fondest memory of 90210? I always say my friendship with her. Number one. The one time I came back after hiatus and I dyed a chunk at the front blue, Aaron basically freaked out and I really pushed back. I, I literally spoke to Aaron about it and I said to Aaron, like, here's why I think you're wrong. People will love it. It's super reflective of like what's in right now. Claire is like a character that pushes the envelope. I just kept saying like, trust me, it's, it's great, it's cool. Like, it's amazing. The fact that you don't like it is exactly why we should do it. And I lost. <laughs> and they said, basically, die back or you're fired. And I said, okay. There you go. Uh, I, I love that. She's so okay. ad- just so wonderful and so great to have on the show. Um, do you remember any of that, Larry, when she wanted to dye her hair blue and all that? I thing? don't remember the blue. I remember the skunk thing, which we all went, oh, please don't do that again. It was just, <laughs> but she had the bookie, the bookie look, which we kind of got uh, ambushed by, which we didn't like either. But most yeah. of the stuff she did was phenomenal. Well, the thing I remember was in the audition, she came in in that snap brim cap backwards, the one we see her in in, in, in uh, Divas uh, in the handcuff to Brandon's bed. And we said, that's her character. Wear that hat. That kind of did it. Sometimes, you know, in an audition, you can wear something. It just resonates. And that one did. Hey, I want to bring someone else onto the into the mix of this conversation um, from Us Weekly. This is Sarah Heron. Heron? Yes. All right. Hi, Sarah. Hi. What I love? The most about Sarah is that she's a Jersey girl. So, yeah. So, two Jersey people in the house right now. Well, although I'm in LA. Well, um, well you have to count me too, Pete. I mean, that's I right. Know, Larry, I, am I, a native, I am a native son of Bergen County. That's right. And I grew up in Massachusetts. So, we're all East Coasters here, right? We're not Jersey, though, Melanie. Not Jersey, <laughs> but close. Hey, you got to see what. Um, you know, Tori and Jenny have a podcast, which we talked about a little bit here on the show. It's it's great. I'm so happy that there's so much 90210 content. But she, I thought Sarah did, of all the press junkets that they did, I thought Sarah had the most fun with it. So I'm going to show you uh, what Sarah did with Tori and Jenny. I think you guys are going to like this. Um, I pulled this, Sarah, right from right off of Us Weekly site. Sorry. Love it. <laughs> I think Don and David would have a lot of kids and be happily married. Where did Donna catch David losing his virginity and cheating on her? Oh, in a limo with Ariel? Yes! <laughs> Triggering. Oh my God, I just got upset about it. Like it was like really <laughs> happened to me. Like I, I, I just got all the feels back. <laughs> what was Kelly's senior superlative? I'm furious. Oh, <laughs> sorry. She's mad at Brian. What was Kelly's senior superlative? Oh, like most likely to yeah, most likely to succeed. It was most beautiful, which you think would be a compliment, but she 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 didn't take it well. What did I get? I don't know. Fine. <laughs> you know, I don't want to be most beautiful anymore. Like I don't think that that's like an, an aspiration for girls these days. Yeah, I, I know. Now, now, but back, but back then it still was. Like you wanted yeah. to be like most like. Most beautiful, best body, like most popular. <laughs> no, yeah, I think no one wanted to be most likely to succeed. Isn't that crazy? And nowadays, we mm-hmm. all want to be like most likely to succeed. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Um, what was the name of Kelly and Donna's store? Now we're this. Nice. Now we're this. We know that one. Who did Ray cheat on Donna with? Ugh. Valerie. Valerie. She remembers all the cheating. Tori, the cheating. Sorry, I got. I just sorry, I got mad again personally. Sorry, I know. You're gonna, have to, like, you're gonna have to like let some of that stuff go. I think. I know. Or we're gonna have to really dive in, and them. hopefully this will be therapeutic. Yeah, I think it's gonna be good for you. I have a Kelly cheating one. Emma is the name of the woman Brandon cheated on Kelly with. True or false? He wouldn't do that. 
Yeah. Well, true. Emily? Yeah. Emma. And Emily. He cheated twice. No, wait, Emma. Oh, you, the girl with no the watch. Emma. The girl with the there watch. No Emma. Emma Caulfield? But that's no. not. No, the character's name was Emma. It was like a season eight. She had a watch that she like found. You're going to find out later. Her? Who played her? I don't remember. No. I swear I'm right, though. I wrote these questions myself. I just got super protective, and now I got furious for you that he did that. Like, <laughs> I'm just I'm, pissed. I'm okay with it. Um, true <laughs> or false, Kelly was shot after a trip to Aruba. Did you go Did to Aruba? to Aruba? True or false? Oh, um, true. False. 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 Hawaii. You got in the LAX parking lot picking us up from Hawaii. I didn't get to go to Hawaii. You were you doing did. much more important things. Yeah. What is Donna Martin's birthday? Tori, you know. Christmas! Yes! Oh, that's so cute. True or false? The name of the cult Kelly joined was the New Revolution. True. It was the New Evolution. That was a tricky one. That's a trick. Oh my god! Sorry. Dude. Do you remember the name of the cult leader? Oh, the cult leader. I thought you said Nicole Leader. I was like, who's that? Um, <laughs> the cult leader, no, no clue. Patrick oh. Finley. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, we watched just, the whole thing. <laughs> Sarah, I just, I love this so much. Yeah. Um, what was that show. like for you? Yeah, that was so much fun to see. I mean, they are going to really need to watch some 90210. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I got to brush up. It was yeah. it was really cool. I mean, a lot, I talked to a lot of actors, obviously, but a lot of times they don't want to talk about like the thing that they're famous for. So this was such a funny yeah. example of like, since the show was about 90210, I knew I could ask anything I wanted. And I also knew they were going to be doing interviews all day. So I was like, how do I make this a little different? Yeah. I mean, that was so much fun. I mean, uh, you know what's so funny about Jenny not knowing um, the Anything? Patrick Finley thing was that we just had Jenny on. Well, we saw the clip at the top of this thing. We just had her on talking about the stalker angle. And we showed, I think we talk about that with her before we came on the air. We said Patrick Finley, Alan Toyd. We like, we, we literally gave her all the, uh, all the info, but uh, yeah. We should have talked about her party, which she didn't invite him to. Do you know she might, she might have remembered snubbing? No, we uh we had uh Professor Finley Alan Toy on the show in episode 15 of our podcast, which Melanie now knows all the order of our episodes by heart. Uh, yes. and he was upset that he said that Jenny was wonderful, but he was not invited to her Christmas party and he was very <laughs> upset. <laughs> 25, years later, 25 years later, he's still everyone there, but, uh, drama, drama, remembered. drama. Uh, really great stuff. Hey, I wanted to thank you also for covering our show once in a while. It's very really always awesome to see us there. Uh, thank you for that. And I think you're going to be joining us on Wednesday. Um, Larry won't be with us, but no. Chuck and Karen and an editor will be joining us. We're talking about two episodes, One Man and a Baby and East Side Story. Do you remember those those two season one episodes? Me? Yeah. Oh, well, once you sent me the names, I Googled them and I was like, oh, I remember the plane. We jumped out of a plane and there was some babysitting. So it's going to, I'm excited to watch them because it's been a while. I feel like season one, I haven't watched nearly as many as some of the other ones. What's super cool about it too is the the one episode, One Man and a Baby, is where Brandon watches m this girl Melissa's child. She has a child and uh, Melissa's going to be with us. So we've got, we dug her up and found her. She's still acting. She's still doing really great stuff and um the housekeeper anna is going to be with us too so there'll be some fun pop-ins on wednesday for sure we need you guys with this investigative journalism of tracking people down it's oh, very yeah. impressive yes, yes, yes. that's part yeah, of really. it's, it's become we we're trying to find over here we're trying to find carla from the east side story very hard very she's very been hard. Tr tricky very tricky Wow, yeah. I'm excited. Right, Sarah, Sarah, thank you so much. We're looking forward to you. I wanted to make sure I shared that. I thought that was really awesome and a great excellent, piece that excellent. you did. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, guys. We love every time anything happens about the behind the scenes of 90210, whether it's the same stuff over and over again or another joke about the eye contact, it shoots up to the top of Us Weekly's page. So I'm, I'm looking out for all of it. Yeah, hopefully right. we'll find out what the bottom of that story is because it's absolutely fascinating to me. The yeah. more I hear about it, the more I'm just like, what happened? Sure. All right. We will see you on Wednesday. Thank you for uh, stopping by here. Bye. All, right. All right. Bye, Sarah. We're also going to say goodbye to Larry. Larry, I, you got you're on Twitter duty, so get go. Go <laughs> take a nap and get, get ready. Clock, but it's, uh, thanks for the news and all the news that's fit and lit. Yes. All right. Bye. We'll see Thank you, dudes.
See you on Twitter. Bye, Larry. All right. That was fun. Okay. So now that we did all that, tell me about what else is going on in the news. I have a whole bunch of clips here. Did you like that uh, thing that Sarah shared? I thought that was hilarious. I thought it was really hilarious, um, but also very smart. Like she said, trying to differentiate herself a little bit, you know, based on what everybody else was doing. Um, It was really nice to do something different and fun and always fun to see Jenny and Tori interacting and the trivia yeah. angle was really cute. So I liked that. Yes. Well, Sarah's Jersey, so she gets it. She knows what people want. <laughs> <laughs> we, we know. Um, oh. Well, you know, circling back really quickly, uh, Kathleen, um, you know, something she had mentioned on our show this week was that she's going to be on a new show, um, the new show called Triage, Medical yeah. Drama. Um, I, for one, am a huge fan of medical dramas. I've always loved, you know, the ERs, that type and genre of show. So I can't wait to watch her. Um, it's I'm on for ABC. one a huge fan of all things Kathleen, so <laughs> I'm super excited to watch it. Yeah, I bet. Right, set your yeah. DVR as soon as it's available. Um, and then also, her home is for sale. Uh, she actually uh, lives in a um, Hollywood Land home, which was a 1920s development that came up in the Hollywood Hills. Um, so, just a, another little fun tidbit about Kathleen. Um, her home's for sale. So, if you're in the market, uh, check it out if it's in your budget i want to <laughs> i want to <laughs> say uh the home is beautiful it is she's a really good eye uh you know she always has even in the shows that she's written and produced and she's been a part of she's got a really good eye for fashion which we learned this week on on the show and mm-hmm. she's obviously got it in her home from the few images that i saw yes uh she's just super such a super creative person i'm really happy that i got to have her on the podcast and all to get to know her a little bit she seems very sweet so uh she also seems to be a really good mom by the way. She I does. Get, I, I love the way she was talking about her sons. And yeah. I thought that was really cute. Yeah. And she's really always writing beautiful things to her husband and stuff. So uh, just an awesome person. Thank you, Kathleen, again, for stopping by. And I can't wait to see triage. Another thing, one final Kathleen tidbit, uh, something that happened in the general news this week. Um, Alex Trebek died. Um Correct. Yeah. You know, and, and that really touched me. I felt really emotional over it. Jason had shared this photo on his Instagram this week. Um, and then we'll, in a second, we'll show the Kathleen clip with her on Jeopardy. But um, I don't know he about won't. you, Pete, but he I'm won't. always... But this is a okay. picture of it. We'll show this picture of it. <laughs> um, <laughs> Perfect. But, you um, know, but... I, you know, and then of course, I think Gabrielle did some stuff in, in that episode as well. Jeopardy yep. stuff. Yep, that's right. So we all um, have that experience. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Oh, no, no, you're fine. I was just going to say that uh, I've been a lifelong Jeopardy watcher, so Mm. this news really struck a chord with me, and, um, you know, it was was tough. He was such a good host. He's a TV legend. He just made it look so easy, and I think it's going to be very difficult to replace him. So uh, rest in peace, Alex Trebek. Everybody's going to miss you. I don't think that they should replace him. I think it should just, the show Jeopardy should just be over. That's it. Yeah, I mean, I kind of agree. I I thought there was some talk of Ken Jennings maybe coming on to host. Um, I'm not sure if that's true or not, but I just feel like there is no other Alex Trebek. That's it. That's it. I I moved to, if I was the network, I would say, we're done with Jeopardy. Yep. (laughs) All right. Well, you'll have to pass along your sentiments and see what they say. Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> maybe maybe Jason Priestley should host it, right? Maybe, so, yeah. right? <laughs> yes. Um, you know, that's a great segue. Speaking of Jason Priestley, gotcha. he is actually uh starring in and producing a new movie. Um, it's called Fear the Worst. It's going to be a thriller and it's an adaptation of Linwood Barclay's novel. But he's gonna be portraying a divorced father whose quiet life is shattered when his 16-year-old daughter mysteriously disappears. So uh, that'll be fun, you know, to watch Jason's work again as a producer and uh, a star in the movie. Wow, that was great. Nice, quick Jason pick. Nice. Just to have it. So we, we just got awesome. lucky. <laughs> Perfect. That's great. Yeah. Um, some other news from the week. Uh, if you're a 90210 fan, you know that Goo Goo Dolls had performed on 90210 uh, on board the Queen Mary. And they actually came out with a new holiday album, which is exciting. Um I know something we would love is to get the Goo Goo Dolls to come on and sing one of these songs for us. Um, yes. That would be amazing. Goo Goo Dolls, if you're out there listening, please, 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 we're begging. Uh, do we have a clip pulled, Pete, for one of their songs? No? 
Okay, cool. Well, uh, go to your music streaming service, check it out, Goo Goo Dolls Holiday Album. It's super festive. And, you know, I think everyone wants to start celebrating Christmas a little early this year, something to look forward to, some festivities, just given the year we've had. So, yes, absolutely. Yes. And you have to do all that virtually this year, <laughs> all that holiday celebration. I know. Uh, here is a clip I do have. I don't know where you are on the list of things that you are talking about, but I always like to throw you curveballs. Great. So, here is is this. That's some clip that Shannon posted with uh, her Sarah and Michelle Geller. having some fun. So go check out the Instagram. If you're listening to this somewhere, you're probably like, what am I listening to? It's so annoying. I would just hit skip 15 seconds. Uh, <laughs> but it's it's them to, uh, I don't know what you would call that. I think it's like sumo ball something I don't know, yeah. something sumoing. But um, they looked like they were having a blast. So good for them. We always love to see what Shannon's up to. And she posted that fun video. So we thought we had to share it. All right, before you get into the next story, there's this. So check it. We have so much new and exciting merchandise over at Beverly Hills, 90210showshop.com. You can get your own Peach Pit shirt or Welcome to Beverly Hills shirt. Or, oh my God, check out that classic retro Beverly Hills 90210 shirt. Oh, and for you Claire Arnold fans, <laughs> Pete, you can get yourself a Claire Arnold t-shirt. I mean, we pretty much have everyone and everything covered, from Dylan McKay to Ray Pruitt. I mean, we even have a Roy Randolph shirt. So don't be a squeeze. Head over to Beverly Hills, 90210showshop.com, and get on it. Okay, Sweet. what else we got? Yeah. Holidays are coming up. Get that yeah. merch, everybody. Perfect gift for the 90210 fans in your life. I need yeah. a hoodie. It's getting chilly here in California. It's hoodie season. I need to it order is. a hoodie. It won't only be chilly here for another week. <laughs> I mean, off and on. It, the weather did show it'll be like in the 80s next week. So, you know, those chilly nights, though. Brr. Ooh. Ooh. I know. I mean, I'm wearing a, a green uh, non-90210 hat this week because it's been chilly this week. Here is this image that you shared. Um, Gabrielle had posted that on her Instagram this week as a nod to the veterans, uh, Veterans Day this week. So also just a quick shout out. Thank you to everybody um, who has served, men, women, um, you know, anybody who's served in our, our military. Thank you for your service. Um, so if you see a vet this week, make sure you thank them. Um, so that was nice. That was nice to her to share that on her social media. Speaking of um, what you were talking about there with uh, troops and uh, veterans, Jenny also shared something you gave me here, right? She did. This is her dad. Uh, he was actually, I believe he was an aerial photographer. Um, and she, you know, posted a photo of him on Veterans Day, thanking, you know, again, all of the servicemen and women who've given their, their time, their lives uh, to our country. So always love to see our favorite cast members and their families. Uh, did you happen to pull the clip with Ian and his girls and their spa night? No? no? Okay. Well, head over. Ian posted a cute <laughs> video. I love seeing them all with their families. You know, I yeah. mean, we went from this high school cast and now everybody's all grown up and I love to see their families and what they're up to. Um, it, Tiffany actually had posted a fun fall recipe this week on her Instagram. Looks delicious. Uh, so head over, you know, check out her recipe. I think the link is in in her bio for that. So now listen, um, I want to I want to I want to say this. I'm so sorry to cut you off again. That's fun. two times that you you sorry. should be like checking a list and checking it twice. That's twice I cut you off. But you said it's Tiffany and you mentioned fall recipes. Yes. Do you know that there's an episode of 90210 that we've covered on our show called Breast Side Up, where mm -hmm. Tiffany makes Thanksgiving dinner for, uh, well, Valerie, Valerie makes Thanksgiving dinner for um, everybody, the, everybody that's there in that season. I think it's season six. Mm -hmm. In two weeks, we are covering all things Thanksgiving, uh, Thanksgiving episodes. We're going to cover uh, two of those episodes. One. Uh, where Brandon brings in the homeless vet, right? And then mm -hmm. also that episode, Breast Side Up, we're going to dive deep in it. So now, yeah. what I'm going to do right now is openly invite Tiffany Thiessen to come on our November, it's going to be Tuesday that week, 
Mm-hmm. So that's November the 24th, 5 p.m. Pacific, live. Bring you bring us recipes. Talk about Breast Side Up, that episode. We'll send it to you. Tiffany Thiessen, if you are watching this podcast right now, and if you're somebody that's watching this, send this clip to her. Cut it, Todd H., cut this, and send it directly to her. Tiffany, we need to have you on the Beverly Hills 90210 show. You are a essential character. What you did with Valerie is absolutely incredible. We get tons of requests for you here. I know you're pushing the Save by the Bell thing. I'm down with it. I can't wait for that, too. But you have got to come to us. Come hang out with Think- on Thanksgiving, November 24th, for a couple of great episodes. Share some recipes with us. Hang out for about 15 to 20 minutes and make everybody so happy. And then come back again some other day. But so, Tiffany Thiessen, please come on to the Beverly Hills 90210 show. Everybody's doing it. Okay. That's right. And, you know, I think Saved by the Bell premieres November 25th, the day after. So it would also be oh great for her to plug the show. And I mean, I was a huge Saved by the Bell fan. I, I mean, Zach Morris, Kelly Kapowski, Slater, like that was my life along with 90210 growing up. I loved the California centric shows. And, you know, to have her on the show would just be such a great addition to our podcast as well. I mean, she has to come on. It's not, it's, yes. it's not even, it's not even up, for, it's not up for an option anymore. It's now yep. you have to do this. Now, here's the thing that you, uh, that you just said about the, about Saved by the Bell and all that. Mm-hmm. We have a shared audience. You we know, do. Listen, you know, the, our, our huge uh, fan base of 90210 super fans, they also probably watch Saved by the Bell. I am not in that exclusive club. You know what I mean? I, I am. I, I know 100. that I know the majority of us are. I just appreciated what she did on 90210 as Valerie because I felt that that character really expanded and gave her so much depth. There were so many things that Valerie went through, deep, dark stuff and really up stuff. So I just think that she has to come on and talk about the work. It's just the work is so good. So Tiffany, if you're listening, uh, please consider that November 24th, 5 p.m. Come hang out with us. But we definitely have some really cool things planned for that episode. I mean, really, it would be ideal for her to come on and do a little recipe, maybe maybe with a 90210 cocktail pairing, right? And we can all enjoy like a cocktail together. That what would means be we're making a turkey? You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gave me this picture too. We kind of touched on this, right? These yeah, two. yeah. Jenny and Tori are promoting their 9021 OMG podcast. Um, I listened to it this week. You know, I thought it was cute. Jenny, Tori, and Sisney. Um, it's a rewatch podcast. So starting with their next episode, they're going to be rewatching the pilot together and, you know, sharing their experiences and thoughts and, you know, what they can remember from um, filming that episode. Okay. And I mean, another shout out. Guys. Yeah. I mean, we love them. You know, anything 90210, yeah. we're in. We're in, we're in it together. So, you know, we yeah. fully support their podcast and they've been so supportive of us and you know, we, yeah. we're wishing them the best. It's Absolutely. Awesome. I'm I'm so excited for their podcast. I think our podcasts are like the perfect pairing, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, because there's so much information and I'm so curious about hearing the actor side of what Chuck and Larry are talking about. So I can't wait for people to be able to pair them like cheese and wine. You know, I yes. think they're going to be cheese and wine. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. We're exactly. definitely the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> um, for so many reasons. But uh, listen, guys, if you ever need me to come on the show on your podcast and help you remember something or, you know, talk about something that maybe Chuck said or Larry said, I'm here at your disposal anytime that you want me. So, wow, I'm doing a lot of talking to people today. Pluto TV is going to be huge again, four o'clock Pacific today, channel 138 on Pluto. Um, Now it's it's November 13th. So if you're, if you're getting to this on November 14th or 15th, you're shit out of luck. I don't yep. know what to tell you, but it was really fun and it was great. But I'm sure Pluto TV will keep all the tweets up. So go back and look at the tweets about all these cool things uh, that happened. Um, I wanted to say, too, before we leave that, uh, you know, talking about Tori's podcast and whatnot, she is so good in this podcast. She has such a great memory. And so and so like. I don't know if she shared some pictures on, and you didn't pull these and I didn't pull them either, but she shared some pictures of uh, her on Instagram of when she and David did the radio show and all that stuff. And I did think that it was fun to kind of see that throwback. Here's an idea for them. You, you, uh, did you hear Sarah ask them what was the name of their store? Now wear this. Yes. Yep. They should have as a tagline for their show. Now hear this, which is oh, so 
Ooh. That's what I would have called the podcast, by the way. So uh, now hear this because of the whole That's reference. Cute. But yeah, so very clever. Uh, feel free to use that if you'd like to, and you're listening. But I'm I'm really excited for them. I, I I really can't express that enough. I think hopefully they'll come visit us too, and we'll be able to chit chat about some of the things that we've all learned together and all that stuff. So hopefully down the line we'll we'll have a a visit from those 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 two amazing people. Yes. What else we got, Melanie? Well, I'm no, little, I think little, I think we've covered everything. Oh, one more thing. Um, we are going to be doing a new fan segment here on 90 News. So right. if you are interested in coming on and joining us for a fan segment, maybe sharing a fan experience or, you know, talking about some of your favorite moments, or if you hear some 90 News and want to come share it with us, um, go to 90news.com. Uh, put your name in the subscribe box and we'll be picking some people to come on and and do our real fans of 90210 segment. It's going to be is a lot right? of fun. 90 news.com. Did I get that yep. right? Yep, that okay. is correct. Yep. And it's an O, the letter O, not yeah. the number. 90HNEWS.com. Yep. There's a subscribe button. Uh, you, you could just put your email in there and we're going to have you guys start coming on here. I think it's going to be a lot of fun to have to talk to some fans. Uh, don't forget to check out the Beverly Hills 90210 uh, show shop. There's so much going on there. Um, lots of new things happening. Uh, stick around on Twitter today because it's going to be a lot of fun like Melanie talked about. Yes. Um And always check out LarryMullen.com to see what mm -hmm. exciting things he's got going on there. And do I have anything else to plug before we wrap here? Just that? Oh, you know, um, after this picture goes away, I just wanted to do um, a quick shout out. I'm wearing these super cute earrings today. Um, we're actually going to plug them on the podcast next week. We're starting right. to do um, ads and some sponsorships. So, you know, if you have a product that you might want to promote on the show, um, you know, yes. we'd love to chat with you about that. Um, these ones came from Gilded Giraffe Home. Um, and we'll talk about more on Wednesday, but I just wanted to share them because they're super cute. Yeah, I can't wait to talk about that. Um, but here it is. Looking to sponsor the show, get involved. Peter at Beverly Hills 90210 show.com. There's also a Melanie yes. at Beverly Hills 90210 show.com. So you can uh, jump in on that now. That's right. Uh, is there anything else that we have to cover here? I think we, oh, I just wanted to say uh, a couple Kathleen looks that I absolutely <laughs> adored. Okay. I didn't get to mention this on air, but how about this one? This is her and Mr. Walsh goes to Washington when she's in the bathrobe and she's, uh, sneaks into Brandon's room. Steamy. That. I love Steamy. that. I love her dressed up for the party. I believe that's in acting out, I think. Yep. So sophisticated. I like that look too. It's classic. It's sleek and sophisticated, just like she is. So stunning. Now, how about yes. this? Ray of hope. Oh, right. Right? love it. She yeah. always has the best looks. I mean, Molly and her, you know, in tandem just did such a great job with her style and wardrobe. This is her when she broke her computer. I don't know if you remember that. <laughs> I do. And then Steve ended up, you know, bringing a, a guy in to help fix it for her, right. which was a super sweet moment. I like yeah. that. All right. I'm sorry yeah. to do that and indulge, but it's it was okay. Kathleen Ooh. Week. Why not? You know, and I think on Sunday, uh, Connie Ziegler and I are going to do an Instagram chat. So uh, we'll Yay. figure out all the details on that. Probably 1%, 1 p.m. Pacific, I will do a chat with Connie Ziegler on the Beverly Hills 90210 show. Uh, Instagram account talking about Kathleen talking about um, you know what's coming up this week and all the stuff that we learned from that interview so it was a big interview for us and the fans you know obviously we wanted to get her so badly to come on the show that's the first time that she's really talked about 90210 so it was really exciting to do and I'm glad she did it on our show and exciting for you I mean getting to talk to your TV crush is super cool yeah. um, it was you know, you did a great job. It was really fun. And I think all of the fans were so happy, you know, to see this dream kind of come true for you. Um, and we yeah. got to watch it unfold together. So that thank was really, you. really yeah. awesome. All right, uh, Melanie, thank you so much for this. Right. I'm always so appreciative to have you and have so much gratitude for, to you for all the work that you do behind the scenes of the show and uh, for rolling with the punches as we have various things come up. We have the big Twitter thing going on today. So uh, Melanie is going to be working her butt off on getting all those tweets out. So we cannot thank her enough. Melanie, uh, before we leave, do you have any virtual hunts or anything like that coming up that you want to talk about? Do you want to tease anything that's going on? As a matter of fact, I am 
putting together a holiday 90210 hunt. Um, it will be inspired by some of the holiday episodes. I'm working on getting the registration page up. We'll have 100 spots. Uh, the prizes are going to be amazing. Um, and more details on that soon. But make sure to go and follow at 90210 hunts on Instagram, uh, Facebook, and Twitter. All right. Thanks so much, Melanie. This was a lot of fun. And uh, we Always will see fun. you on Wednesday for the, well, we'll see you today for the Twitter stuff. That's right. I'll be we'll, behind the scenes making the Twitter magic happen. That's it. And, um, and then Wednesday, we have two really great season one episodes. So I'm super excited for that. Yes. And then we'll be back here next week for more 90 News. That's right. More 90 News. And uh, with that, everybody have a great weekend. Please, please join us on Pluto TV today, channel 138, starting at 4 p.m. And with that, 9021 out.